Hi, boys and girls. So we are continuing our investigation about how are rocks affected by acid rain. And on Friday, I put limestone, which is the state rock, into these vials. And I added water, LaCroix, and then I used vinegar. And then I let them sit over the weekend to see if anything could have happened. Now, we're going to set up our science notebook and look at our investigation. So what I want you to do is go get your science notebook and a pencil, open up to the very next page in your book, and you're going to fill in observations, acid rain, and make a, make a chart that has water, vinegar, and LaCroix. Remember, LaCroix was just my, I'm not really sure what would happen, but it's bubbly, and I thought, hey, it could be cool. All right, so I'm looking at my water. I'm looking at the water. And when I look at the water, it still just looks like water. Do you see how it's clear? There's no, there's nothing inside the tube. And there are a few bubbles off to the side. So I'm going to write those observations down in my chart. Okay, when I um, made my observations with water, I noticed the water hadn't changed color. It was still clear. And I do notice some bubbles, but they're on the side of the container, which makes me know that those are air bubbles and not a chemical reaction. So the next one we're going to observe will be the LaCroix. Now this one, if you look carefully, do you see how the LaCroix, the water is more like it's turned kind of yellow? It's not clear anymore. It's not clear like water. So it's changed colors. And again, we do have air bubbles. So something has happened and we've pulled out something from the rock and that we do have air bubbles again. Now I'm gonna show you the vinegar. Look at what happened to the one with vinegar. First of all, it's a different color. Second of all, look at what has formed on the side of the container. Do you see those white crystals? Do you see the white crystals? I don't wanna turn it upside down because then they'll go away, but do you see those crystals in there? Oh, that's a good picture. See the crystals on the side that's formed? And if you look really close, there's actual sediment. It looks as if the rock is actually breaking away. Little pieces of the rock have now formed or broken off and it's the whole bottom has a little bit of sediment underneath it. So here are what my observations look like. Water, clear, air bubbles. So it didn't do anything, there was no reaction. So I'm gonna put down no reaction for this one. LaCroix, other than the liquid turning a little bit of color, I didn't notice that the rock was breaking down and I didn't notice any crystals or anything that was left over. So I'm not sure about this reaction. I'm gonna put a question mark because I'll have to do some more tests with this to find out if my findings are true. However, vinegar, put a star next to vinegar. This shows a clear reaction. Because the rock looked like it was breaking down and the fact that something else was created, these white crystals that were not there before, we know that a chemical reaction has taken place. Pause my video right now so that you can make sure you have these observations written down in your science notebook. The next definition you need to write down is chemical reaction. 
And this is a process where two or more materials mix in a way that forms new materials. So limestone reacted to the vinegar and created a gas. The limestone also reacted to the vinegar and formed these white crystals that you see in the vial. None of the others did that. So make sure to include this in your notes. The chemical reaction is a process in which two or more materials mix in a way that forms new materials. Limestone contains a mineral called calcite. And any time calcite reacts, any, any rock or any rock that has the mineral calcite is going to react um, to acid rain. So because limestone has calcite inside of it, it will always react um, to acid rain. This is an example of chemical weathering. Chemical weathering. So we had learned about physical weathering now you have learned about chemical weathering. And this is what happens when a rock or a mineral is exposed to something like acid rain. It can dissolve parts of the minerals that hold the rock together. I'm going to put on a fun activity that has Skittles and water and you can also see how chemical weathering, it's a fun way to learn about acid rain and chemical weathering in a safe manner. I hope you learned a lot and I look forward to showing you some cool rocks next time.